Wayne Clark, thanks for joining Undercurrents. Ten Australian Test cricket matches for Australia. Could there have been more? I would have liked to have had more games. I suppose there were some issues that uh, meant that I probably didn't play as many as what I thought I would. I, I thought I'd started off pretty well and my, uh, my results were pretty good. You'll start seeing all the tribute programs that have been now made to Kerry Packer, but you were famously not interested in Kerry's vision for World Series cricket. Would you do the same again? Well, I wanted to play for Australia. I mean, if I was after the money, I would have just taken the money. Um, it was something that I'd, as a kid, always wanted to play for Australia. Um, and I just weighed up a lot of things, and I, I opted that way. Um, people ask me, you know, do it again, uh, would you do the, make the same decision? I think I would. Ten years, also two at the helm as the West Australian coach. How do you think the Warriors are going? I think we've got a lot of work to do. I think it's been a long time since we were a state or a team that was pressing for finals on a regular basis. Yeah, producing the cricketers that we need to produce. Um, I think we're going in the right direction. The, the appointment of Mickey Arthur and was good. But now Lachlan Stevens, I think, has got some terrific ideas on where he wants to go. But there's uh, a lot of work to be done. Is there anything that you would do differently? I'm very proud of what I did with uh, this WA side, especially early. Um, I was brought in. I suppose I was pretty surprised to be asked to do the job. Um, I'd been out of cricket for nine years, I think it was, and. I was actually running a grocery store up in uh, Midland. Best thing I ever did getting out of that bloody thing, I can give you the tip. But I look back and I, I made some decisions which went against what people wanted, um, but I was what I thought was right for, for cricket, especially WA cricket, and I think it panned out pretty well. West Australian cricketer Luke Pommersback seen himself in the headlines in recent years. Would a player like this today have got away with it back in the 80s? I probably don't think they're much different. I think they're scrutinised a lot more. and. Um, Gee whiz, I mean, if it was the same scrutiny back then, I think there'd be a, a, the poor old papers wouldn't be able to find enough pages. But look, you know, Luke's just a sad example, really, of a, a guy that's had a lot of ability and it just hasn't worked out and he hasn't been able to cope with the things off the field as much as they are at times on the field. You are currently the host of a very popular sports program on 91.3 Sport FM. Does that station have the potential to be an SEN of Melbourne? Look, I think it's got a tremendous little niche. Um, I, I think it's just because it's on a community radio and, and it's a financial thing, I suppose. If you're able to get the right sponsors and you know, make the production like SEN do, um, where there's a, a lot of money changes his hand in different areas and that. Wayne, if you had your time all over again, would you do anything differently? Have you got any regrets? The, the biggest disappointment, and I, I could have become very bitter about it, I suppose, was because it was over the, the questioning of my action. I mean, I, I had a lot of trouble with my back and, and, and I, my action opened up and, um, and I know that you know, my action was good. I um, was pretty loyal to Cricket Australia in, in, when the Packer thing was on and I just reckon I got burnt. And I suppose that's, if I look back on one thing, that there, there is a bit of regret, but, you know, I don't make an issue of it. I've, I've very rarely spoken about it. Um, you must have something that just drags these sort of things out of me. but. Yeah, that's one thing I'd, I'd, I'd like to be able to change because I think I probably could have played a bit more test cricket if that was the issue. Wayne, thanks for joining Undercurrent. My pleasure, Nick.